Okay, I'm going to start by explaining the reason why I have a scarf on my head. Um, there is a method to my madness, I promise. So I'm going to do a review on a pixie wig today. I have been on this hunt for this hair forever. It's been at least about a year since I first discovered this wig. Um, however, unfortunately it was only accessible in America and I could get it delivered here. However, the custom fees and the tax charges were ridiculous and I don't like taking L's, especially financial L's. I was not trying to do it because in the end it'll end up being that I pay $12 for the wig, so nowadays that's about £10. And then I'll end up paying like £30 my custom fees and tax and stuff and it's no, not worth it. But the heavens smiled on me a year later and I managed to get the wig. I actually purchased the wig from a website called Afro Styling. Um, look in the description for all the relevant information. Um, it's a pixie wig. Um, here's the packaging it came in. I've had it for a minute. So it, it's, it's a little toe up. You know, I've had to sellotape bits and pieces together because it's been underneath my bed for a moment. But yeah, so here's my pixie wig. I know it looks a little bit crazy on this model, but I have faith in this wig. I have seen it on like other people and I think it looks great. So hopefully it will have the same effect on me. Um, yeah, so it's an it's called Ultra. The company is called Ultra or Alt, yeah. Alter, Alter, I can't read, but yeah. Uh, doobie wig, 100% human hair. Um, I got this, I actually requested for a color one, but um, ended up with a 1B. There was an option on the Afro Styling website that if my first choice wasn't available, they would send out my second choice. So my second choice was the 1B. So that's the color I ended up with. Um, yes, I'm gonna put the wig on and I will continue this review. So let's see what this wig has in store. I do pray it fits. Um, at the back of the packaging is a care label. Gives you all the care information. Here's the wig. <laughs> Let me figure out where the front and the back is. Okay, time to reveal what's underneath this do rag. Please don't judge me for these meat mill braids that I have on my head. I haven't redone them in a minute because I'm a little bit lazy. The wig comes with two sets of combs, um, one at the back and one at the front. I will most likely take these out because I am on team struggle when it comes to these edges. Um, no, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to keep hold of the few edges I got so let's see what this looks like okay oh there's adjustable straps on this wig as well oh I've got it caught in one of my little beady beads my beady beads ow <laughs> oh dear Beady beads. If any of you are 90s babies and you've watched, or you've watched Martin as much as I have, you know exactly. Ah! I caught it on another one. As I was saying, if any of you are 90s babies or you've watched Martin, the TV series, um, Martin as much as I have, you know exactly what I be talking about when I say beady beads. Okay, so this is the wig first look without doing anything to or with it <laughs> okay right i look like a martian oh, goodness my head shape i don't do short hair for one reason i have a pea head and it's a bit pointy at the top but whatever i'm gonna roll with it okay okay so yeah this one looks like without doing anything at all to it here's the back of it without doing anything to or with it. Here are the sides. I'm gonna create some ear space and I'm just gonna roughly 
run my fingers through it making it a little bit messy so it doesn't look so flat and I'm just going to do this around with my whole head basically and make sense of this hat I have on my head I think I might also push it a bit further down on my forehead um, so it looks like I've got like really really short bangs and create air space so this unit has adjustable straps too on either side here and here but to be honest it's so snug and fits quite well so and it's really expandable as well so to be honest I don't feel like I, I, I need the adjustable straps yet maybe if I ended up using it a lot and stretched it out perhaps Okay, I am mad at it, I'm not that mad at it. Let me put some earrings on to finalize or complete this look. Oh, let me take my earrings out. Put these earrings in, get my ghetto girl on, my around the way girl. <laughs> my goodness, ow. I wish I had bamboo earrings, these would be perfect. I feel like I'm channeling my inner Nia Long right now with this look. I actually um, Googled Nia Long and found a little outfit she was wearing, so yeah, I've tried to reappropriate Miss Long. I think she's gorgeous. So here's the finished look. And to be honest, I don't think I'm I'm not mad at it, no. I paid $29.95 for the wig, and then I paid like $5.99 shipping. So altogether I paid £35 for the wig. Do I regret it? No. Um, do I think it was worth $35? Why not? To be honest, I think if you're not on a budget this month or this week and you've got a little extra cash, splurge, like, it's a nice little treat. Um, now, if I was on a budget, would I have done it? No. No, ma'am. And no, I wouldn't think it's worth it. But you know, it just depends on where you catch me in the day, in the week, or in the month. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm not mad at it at all. Um, shipping took three days. On the Afro Styling website, it says that it's um, based in Manchester, like it's shipped from Manchester to here. I'm also based in Manchester so it did take about three days to come which I believe is a little bit of a stretch considering we're both in the same city so it's like I mean what, what, what exactly is taking three days you know I don't understand why is it taking so long and when you are ordering off Aliexpress it only takes about three four days with a lot of the things I buy off Aliexpress and that's coming from China I know it's different couriers but I just feel like three days is you know a little bit long considering both in this, we're both in the same city. So the price was great, the product is amazing. I really do like this. I'm gonna give you a close up. So here's the front, here's the side, here's the back. Yes. <laughs> Thanks guys for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. Um, if you're looking for a pixie wig, this is the wig you should go for. Um, you can also try going for one longer. This is one of the shorter <laughs> forms of pixie wigs. So I was a little bit worried initially that it was going to look like a hat or like I'd put a bowl on my head and just put scissors to it. But no, I think I'm challenging. I'm channeling my inner 90s um, love. So yeah, I'm not mad at this wig at all. Um, like, subscribe, questions, I have answers, you know. And I hope you have a blessed day. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 <laughs>